UI. Um, I could have probably left this system finish um, a, a while ago, but I'm just not I'm just not happy with how it looks. So I'm going to keep working on it. Um, so I started playing around with. Um, oh, by the way, I'm a little congested. Um, hopefully, this is the last day of this nonsense. But um, yeah, I, I don't sound normal. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I started playing around with this um, with this radial uh, layout group thing, and I wanted to circle layout group. That's what it's called. Now this is a script, third-party script. Someone else wrote. And I purchased it as an asset package, and I wanted it to work in the same way that other layout groups work, which is that it will resize itself depending on um, how much content is inside of it, so I could do everything dynamically. But unfortunately, that's not going to uh, work. So here's my code from yesterday. Uh, that's that's just not going to work at all. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, talent tree templates. So we have to do some legwork, yes, but um, in the end, I think what we're going to get is um, so let's get rid of this this button for now. Let's, let's disable all of that. We create a new, we'll call this a race talent tree. Now I have some idea of how this is going to work. Uh, I still have to figure out the rest. Uh, so let's full size that. Now, let's see, circle layout group. Now I've got a prefab here. Let's see. UI prefab uh, unlock card. Now I've got a line manager, image background, abilities container. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn this off. Line Manor doesn't take any space. So let's just shrink this down. I'm going to save this as a new prefab for now. So <coughs> what happens is if I add multiple of these, I can skip first. Let's do some additional radius. And okay, um, this is just me mocking things up. So the idea is that we'll have this do a nice circular layout so we'll have like a race icon in the middle and we'll have arrows going out to all the cards and going out to all the abilities and then all the modifier abilities and that way we can arrange everything the way that we want have complete control over how the layout looks um, I think that's going to be really really nice uh, for our system so first thing we need Let's go to scripts. I'm going to do unlock. I'm going to do a folder here called talent tree. I'm going to call this um, talent tree unit. And I want to be able to unity display name in the editor. Uh, 
how do I do this? Basically, I want to. Okay, let's create a an image, and then let's add that talent tree unit. <clears throat> let's close all documents. Let's edit this script. And we're just going to have a public race type, oops, unit type, unit type. This might, this, this looks promising. Handles label. Let's see, how does this work? Yeah, that's about what I want. So first of all, we're gonna need the execute in edit mode tag. <clears throat> We're going to need the Unity Editor, of course. On... Oh, we need a custom editor for this. Want in the scene, I wanted to show the name uh, of the enumeration. Well, let's try it. Um, let's do talent tree. Uh, uh, <coughs> C sharp script TT unit editor, which means we don't need this here. Open this up in Visual Studio. This we need here. And let's take a look. We've got, so this is a editor. And what did they do here? On scene GUI. So this would be TT unit. Okay. What is shield area? Is that a property of, yeah, okay. Okay, so. I hate when people do this. Alright, let's... Oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> okay, so... The position... Get rid of that. Um, label. All we need is a position. I don't 
don't see anything. Offsetting it on scene GUI. A custom editor type of, that's what it is. TT unit. There we go. That should work. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Now... That's only drawing it when I have it selected. Unity draw handles when not selected. Secondary parameter there is fallback. Interesting. I see. Got uh, a style here, I see. this okay so that's working now Label. 
if I get rid of the, the style, is the default style better? Probably not. getting like a gray font there and it's showing even when we, when we don't have it selected that's good um, Unity handle background color. style that alignment
right, well, that's not too bad. Um, does. See if anyone's got a label that looks decent. Yeah, like this. This is this is not too much to ask for, right? Hmm. But is that a button or is that a a wire arc? No, that's that. Get handle size. So why doesn't my handle look like that? Is it because this is the new Unity documentation?
Alright, fuck that. Set it to white. <coughs> well, that's not going to work very well there, is it? Oh, come on. There's got to be a better way to do this. Let's try drawing that button and see if that's any better. color to red and we'll move it on. Style dot font style bold. Make it pop a little bit more. And let's see style dot font size 20. Extremely large. kind of a start. Um, let's see, I have some other editor scripts here. Button. Image 
equals CP unit get component image. <coughs> Okay, so I get my cards, that's nice. So I, I, I can see how I can, you know, construct this stuff. Um, the problem I'm having is how do I get this stuff to scale correctly? know I mean I guess it scales one to one I guess that's fine uh, all right let's try zeroed out. Okay. Now we can add UI image. Place button. And let's just set it to something like this. So we're going to draw lines from this going out. Okay. Image 
dot sprite equals ability dot um, icon new object transform set parent transform new object dot name equals ability dot display name. See if that works. Okay. Is at half the normal size. Let's try this again. Okay. And then we need to do let transform dot uh, offset. No. Um, dot position equals our let or no, um, I transform that local position equals, what is this, a vector two or three? Vector three, zero. Okay, let's try deleting that again. Create ability templates, there we go. to 
handles dot dotted line. Transform position, child transform position, float screen space size one. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's neat. We get a, um, a dotted line. Change this to two. Handles dot color from color dot that. <coughs> cool. All right, so that's kind of cool. This code here, uh, we can put this public void create ability children. TT unit create ability children and just take all this and put that in here. If unit prefab not equal null. So let's try that and see if that works. We'll do it for the mage. So looks like it worked. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, we want to do one more thing. Um, let's see. Let's do a script called TT Ability. We're going to do some more object oriented shit here. <sighs> so, the idea is that I'm going to basically have a system where in the editor I can create all this talent tree stuff. And then when we go into play mode, what will happen is my system will replace all the template stuff with our actual UI prefabs. I could construct all this with the UI prefabs, but if anything changes, now I've got to fucking recreate everything. So I'd rather just use the template to do the layout, the positioning, you know? And then if I ever make a change to anything, my system only uses the layout, doesn't do anything else. Um, so I need another script for this. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, scripts, 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 scripts. Talent tree. Alright, C sharp scripts. TT ability. So TT standing for talent tree. Okay, uh, public. 
like string unit ability name. New object image, yep, yep, yep. Public list TT ability. Set it. Okay. TT ability equals new object dot and component TT ability. TT ability dot new ability name. Factor this to ability name equals um, uh, ability dot ability name and then to two abilities. I know this code is ugly as hell. Forgive me. <clears throat> but I've been working on this unlock UI for way too long. Alright, let's try this. Create ability templates. Uh, we need to... going to get our, our variables. So there we go. We've got our script with the ability name and here we've got a list of all of the abilities. So very good. Okay, um, now in the editor here we don't need to do this anymore. We can loop through their TT ability in TT unit dot TT abilities. also see if things are looped correctly or linked correctly. Um, okay. But here I'm keeping a reference to the name public mutability ability. Why don't we do that as well? Then when we create Um, if 
it's a modifier ability, you want to set it as a child. Um, TT ability, create TT ability, usability, usability. Okay. Let's take all of this. in here. Here, I can't work with shitty fucking messy code. The ability, uh, unit ability, uh, ability, unit ability. There we go. in the size here. And we're going to save that for Okay, that's fine. We're going to do that later. Uh, return to T ability. not a <clears throat> modifier ability. Um, public list CT ability modifier abilities. This is getting a little complicated, but I think this is worth it. I'm always saying that, aren't I? Um, if it's not a modifier ability, we just set it as a child, uh, so... Size, do we? Yeah, we don't need size. Set parent uh, our transform size delta equals this to two rec dot local position vector three dot zero tt abilities dot add new tt ability. Okay. 
Then we go and do the modifier abilities. So uh, their parent equals tt abilities dot first or default x such that x stop ability dot modify ability equals new tt ability dot ability is that right? Let me think. That's right. <clears throat> okay. New uh, TT rect set parent parent dot transform TT rect size delta equals uh, it's just the same. And then instead of doing adding it to our abilities. Parent dot tt abilities. TT, come on. Oh, parent dot modifier abilities. Dot add a new tt ability. I think that looks about right. We'll see. Right, let's get rid of these. Um, I need to reset this list here. There we go. Otherwise, it just keeps losing its mind. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. What failed here? Ah. Because we didn't have the list initialized. So let's add a little button here. If GUI layout that button delete these clear abilities. Getting the next connection here, but that's all right. That's still pretty cool. Uh, we need a another editor script. Editor create C sharp 
subscribe to the TT Ability Editor. And we'll draw the lines to the modified abilities. get a line from here to here. Very nice. Cool, cool. Uh, let's change this to white and let's not have that be bold. Alright, cool. We've got a bunch of them over here, which is why this is so messy. creating like a reference tree, you know? Um, that's really what we care about. Um, you know, most of this code is basically to help me set this up for 110 different units and 300 different abilities over five races. Um, so after that, I'm only going to be tweaking this every once in a while when I add new things. Let's increase the radius here. It's nice to see that everything moves together. That's nice. Okay. So, for example, what I could do here, um, you know, let's. We need another. We need a script. We need a TT race. Create C sharp script. TT race. Unit, 
unit. script uh, excuse me just for one minute here Okay, all right, so let's get back to it. Um, let's see, let's collapse everything. Public list unit type, get unit types for race, pass in the race. Now, list. Races. We've got human, undead, dwarf, yada, yada, yada. And then we go to our unit types, and we've got the same names here. So I think we should be set. So let's try that. For each, let's see, uh, there, unit type. 
types in this race equal utilities. Uh, come on, utility dot get unit types public static help get unit types for race for each there, unit type and unit types for this race. Debug.log unit type. So we'll test that. And we need a new editor script as well. All right, editor scripts. Da -da 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 -da. I put a fucking T at the end. Come on. Okay. Copy this. Let's open this up. Put that in there. Is actually TT race editor TT race TT race to string. Comment this out for a second. Uh, color dot. Let's do cyan. We'll do. And comment this. This is going to be tt erase. If GUI layout dot button test. Erase dot create tt units. So that way we'll be able to see if our whole enum string thing works. So here we'll do, do uh, tt erase human. So we get, let's clear that and do it again. Human warrior, mage, priest, crossbowman, spearman, champion, and guardian golem. Awesome. So that's that's what we want right there. Now let's let's check it for the other ones. Uh, let's try undead. Very nice. Oh, we get the necro gate in there too. Interesting. Uh, okay. So we'll have to do some additional switching. Let me guess, for the dwarf we get turrets? Yeah, we get turrets, okay. So we're using this as a starting point and then we've got the information in the unit prefab to see if we actually need to create that. All right. looking nice, good. So let's go ahead and delete all of those. Now, public circle layout group. Uh, 
Okay. There, prefab it equals resources, resource manager, instance get, unit prefab for unit type, unit type. Prefab if unit prefab dot <coughs> let's see to set uh, the size um, or uh, image dot preserve aspect is true. We want to do that for the units. And then we just add this to the list. TT units dot add new TT unit. Very nice. And then in the TT race editor, we can go ahead and uncomment this. TT unit in TT race dot TT units. TT race dot transform TT unit transform. And we can call this create units okay <coughs> okay so now we need to pass this in here so let's create the units. Wow, awesome. That's that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Welcome to real life. Okay, so let's go to a, the mage, for example, and create abilities. Um, and let's add, <laughs> let's try this, let's try adding a uh, circle layout group. Skip the first one. Let's increase that radius. And rather than doing a whole circle, we do something like this. Let's play with the offset. Increase the radius. Let's increase the radius overall. Uh, mage. Reduce. 
reduce the radius a little bit here. That's cool. That's cool. Ah, I fucking accidentally opened Vegas. Why are you even over here? Okay, uh, so that's kind of cool. But I don't think we're going to do it that way. We'll do our own custom layouts. Uh, with, with, you know, if we do it, if we do a circular, we'll do a circular. If we do a, uh, a horizontal, we'll do a horizontal. We'll do whatever we want. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and clear everything again. So we need a delete button for this. If GUI layout... Button clear units. Uh, I can just uncomment this. Pull that in there. For each fair unit. And TT race dot TT units. .2t units clear. Now we'll do another one here. Uh, we'll call this full initialize. So not only do we create the units, but then we loop through everything we just made, and we do unit dot create ability children. So in one button press, we create everything we need. At least that's the idea. So let's do clear. Okay, now let's full initialize. Boom. So everything's there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Awesome. That's really cool. Now we can basically just do this for all of our races. Um, I really wish I had those race icons. I had tried to work with an artist a while ago to get some race icons done, but he never got back to me and I stopped working with him. Now I wish I had them. I guess the question is, what do we do with <clears throat> with this button in the middle here? Uh, let's see. Here the asset store. I want two D stuff. Let's see, race badges. That looks promising. How many do you have? Humans, undead, dwarf, demons, orcs, lizard men, beast men, werewolves. All right, that's kind of cool. Uh, not sure I like the one for the orcs, but this is definitely the best thing I've found in a while. And cursors, orc icons. So he's got a bunch of stuff for the orcs. Okay, does he have anything? Sort by fantasy character icons that might work for humans and there's one for the undead as well I need one for so he's got some fantasy skill icons that might work that might work 
Playman Studio has some great, great stuff. Universal skill icons, cursors, spell icons. What else do you have? could use some ability icons inside of this bubble here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that would be cool. Let's turn that off. Oh, it still renders it. That's pretty cool. Oh, we can't disable that. That's interesting. All right, I wish I could... 3D icons? No. Can I disable these here? That'd be cool. No, no dice. I'm gonna move this race button out for a minute. And we're just gonna work with this for a minute. Let's say we're working on good icon for the demons. I'm sure that we do somewhere. through all these icons. I'm looking for something that's uh, clearly showing a demon. That's, you know, from inside the game, so I'm not using that. Uh, this is kind of weird. It's kind of happy. Um, I don't like that. Okay. Well, maybe we have one for the undead that's better. We can start with that one. Yeah, this, this is, this is nice. I like that, we'll use that. So, we've got a race button. <coughs> then, we're gonna put another object inside this and call it the um, race icon. Race icon, can I type? All right, and then, Put a mask component here. Um, wait, let's do this. Race mask. Uh, we'll get rid of the mask component there. We'll take our bubble overlay. Put it here. Call this the mask. Make this a child of this. And then here, interesting, why isn't that, uh... oh, I've got it backwards, okay. Oops. So that, that, let's collapse this stuff for a second. So this should really be like this. There we go. And then we can shrink this a little bit more. There we go. So 
so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'll create a new image or new game object race icon button. I, I don't know, man. I transform one 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 one. Let's put that in there. Offset. Let's do two 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 and. Here we'll call this the bubble overlay. All right, that's one. Okay, so that's for the undead. Let's see what else we got. Do we have anything good for the humans? We need something for the humans, we need something for the orcs, demons, and dwarves. I think we should go with, um, with something that's really personal so to quite literally give a face uh, to what we're working with here. Don't like that. I mean, I've got this, but I think that's a. Uh, I don't know, a bit aggressive, maybe. It's a little dark, you know, for the humans. All right, let's see. Uh, I've got this human over here, that might work. I still like this. Still gonna like it. Who knows? Maybe I'll need it one day. Uh, good lord. Can't see anything. Alright, these mega packs are gonna be a no go for me. Don't look familiar. Okay. Yeah, these do not look familiar. Check the uh, white section here of my collection. I don't have that or that. That. Yeah, I don't have most of these. Okay, so this is a good one. What about this one? I don't think I have these either, but to be honest, they don't look that great. Souls. These are the fantasy ones. <clears throat> this is Fantasy Volume 5. God, this guy makes a fucking shitload of icons. I mean, they're fantastic. They really are. Alright, let's keep digging through these. Uh, quality avatars. Show me. Alright, what do we got? I like, I like some of these. They could work. They could work, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, so that's decent. Um, fantasy skills, we'll open up that one. Volume 5, I don't know if we got that one. Volume 3, Universal, Resources, Spell Icons. Some of this more stuff might be useful down the road when we start doing equipment as abilities. Um, fantasy badges, let's take a look at that. Coins. Uh, let's see. I like these. I just don't see anything that works for orcs. You know, this is dwarf, that's undead, I get that. Um, you know, that could be demons, but which one, you know, for orcs, I don't see anything. <laughs> so I think a face is better anyway. Uh, let's see, 2D dwarf. Dwarf Avatar, Fantasy Badges, what do we got here? Oh, this is looking much better. Okay, I just, I don't know which one would be Orcs. I like it though. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff. I mean, this is basically uh, from a different game or just straight up D&D. &D. Uh, they're all kind of from the side though. 36? Yeah, it looks like they're all there. Game badges, race badges, profession badges, class badges. Let's see, oh, this is way too cartoony. Profession badges. No, not really. Class badges. Yeah, 
but I don't know if I can use that for what I'm looking for. What is this? <laughs> Try searching for Avatar. Post apocalyptic character. Humans, this is the one I've seen before. This one might work for demons. Oh, we've got orcs in there too. Okay, I see a good one for demons there. I see undead. We've even got goblins, frost giants. Orcs are looking pretty good. Okay. Uh, I don't see dwarf, of course, but, you know, that's all right. Uh, Armored pack, we'll save that for another time. We've got more skills. I don't even I don't know if I need to buy those today. Uh, let's see here. I think maybe this one might be the best one for um, for humans. I like those icons, but not today. Yeah, they look nice though. Uh, save that. Is there anything of value here? I think this art style is a little different than this one. God, how hard is it to find a decent fucking dwarf? These are the fantasy badges, yeah. I like them, but, you know. What else does Rexard have? Race badges, character icon. I think we looked at this already. Did we? Well, we've got some good options here for humans, but where are my dwarves, man? Nobody likes drawing short, bearded men? Inventory of weapons. Ah, he did the mobs one. Yeah, we're definitely going to be using that one. Does a lot of UI stuff. Coins. Cards. Okay. What else do you have? Weapon icons. Jesus. Christ. Hundred dollars for this pack. Good lord, man. Yeah, it's too much stuff in one pack for me. Armor icons, pirates, shields, uh, dark fantasy badges. What is this? Very high detail. Oh, I see he's got layering too, it's nice. Yeah, it's good, it's just not specific enough for, 
for what I'm looking for. Yeah, he's got some. He's got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Forest. God. Herbs. Ah, monsters. Let's see. What else do you have? Okay, there's some good options here too. I like I like a lot of these. They feel a little bit zoomed in, I think, but uh, they're not bad. Of course, still no fucking dwarves. Come on. Spellbook, necromancer. That's the end of his list. Oh, could this be? Can we... Do we get our dwarf? We get dwarfs, but they suck. These icons are shit. What about this one? Ah, oh, these are sci-fi, aren't they? Nope. This one. No. Oh, hey, one black guy. Good to see. Good to see. Avatar icons. Come on. Give me a good dwarf. What do we got here? Man, you got gnomes. You don't have dwarves. Fucking no love. No love for the dwarves. Um, animals, steampunk, no. This is not looking promising. Fantasy, I think we already got that one. Come on. <laughs> this one's supposed to have anything in here? No, it's garbage. This one kind of has a dwarf, but it's like, can I get a better dwarf, please? Am I really too picky about this? It's awful. Really awful. search dwarf icon art well that's not fucking useful Thank you. 
down. I breathe. scene for this. Ooh. structure. What, what is that? What is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and modify this a little bit. I'm going to change the colors. Um, let's add a little red to it. This one will do it for the undead. Okay. Let's do this one for the orcs. So I like this one, but he needs to be more green. So let's do more kind of a swampy green. Get a bit of a darker green in there as well. Filter, render, clouds, overlay, color. Uh, you know what? No, too complicated. Color overlay. 
color. And let's play with that. I don't need it super strong. Oops, gotta save this. So here's our old icon, and here's our new one. I like this one too though. Shit, that's nice. Like looking straight ahead? Yeah, I like that. nice so we've got undead demons orcs we're missing dwarfs and humans I think we might have a good one for the humans let's see yeah that's pretty decent actually man where's my dwarf if I just had, if I just add the dwarf. Ah. This guy's kind of close, but not really. Alright, so we got that. That's the one we just got. Close that. All of these characters are looking off to the side. There's more monsters here. I don't see any dwarfs though. We close all of these extra skill ones. There's some guys with some nice beards, but they don't look distinctly dwarvish. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use that. this dwarf is down here. Seven thousand shitty icons. Oh, it's a good thing you watermarked this. I would have totally stolen those. Just missing one more.
might have to go with this one. They have them listed as gnomes, but they, they do look like dwarves. I wonder if the art style will mesh, though. It's so hard to tell. Come on, give me a one good dwarf. Orcs and lots of creatures. Yes, I see one. 20 bucks, fuck. It might work, though. It might work. That's our best bet so far. What else do we have in here? Nada. That one, that one. This is crap. Assets here. This guy made stuff. What else did you make? Yeah, it's okay. Now it comes down to how much do I care about having the perfect dwarf icon and. Uh, well, if you know me. You know, it's my favorite race. But is that better than that? This is 15. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wish I could see these a little bit closer. Oh, I can. Awesome. Female, 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 male. Okay. Alright, that might work. So it's that versus package preview dwarfs. So it's that versus that. this one. Let's move on with our lives, huh?
maybe we can do some Photoshop work and uh, change the color of the beard or something. <clears throat> well, the thing is, we, we're definitely set on icons for the foreseeable future for fucking everything else. That's nice. structure already, don't have to change anything. Alright, let's move this in here. matches it mostly does uh, what's going on with the quality here I feel like we're losing some quality no it's still there some inspiration for beards. Come on, I don't know why it keeps doing this. We might want to go with like a bright red, orange beard. So let's work on this a little bit. Got some some color here. Let's go ahead. Copy. Put that off in the corner. We're gonna do a little color layer on top here. change the color of his beard it will. So let's get some orange. And ta-da, we're making his beard orange.
reduce our brush size, do a bit of this smaller stuff. Do a little clean up on this with a softer brush with some nicer edges to get everything to fade nicely. Alright. So let's get this down and bump that brush size up a little bit. We'll fade that in here, here, and here. Up here, on the edges. Yeah, it's looking great. Here, around the lips. Just about done. Let's get rid of that. And we've got this contiguous black here. Let's drop that. File save as. That's what it looked like before and after. Alright, I like it. I think we can take this image, adjustment, brightness, contrast, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more brightness. Just make it pop a little bit more. Yeah. And then let's go ahead delete that layer. Let's go ahead and merge these. And let's go ahead and shift everything over. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So there's our race icons. Not bad, not bad. I like that. Okay, so if we take, uh, let's go ahead and disable all of these for a second. Uh, which one is the human one? That's the human one, so let's leave that one. 
We're going to disable the rest. Let's go ahead and enable our talent tree again. And let's put that in there. Let's center that. Circle layout group. Let's bring that radius in. So we're going to stop here for today. I got to go hit the gym. I can finally hit the gym again after being sick for so long. Um, so yeah, good stuff today. Uh, only put in about two hours, not too much. Kind of wish I'd done more, but I was working on another idea earlier. Anyway, um, Thanks for keeping up, and uh, this is going to look good pretty soon. Looking forward to it. Take care. Bye.